Welcome to Math Practice with Mrs. Smith. Today, order of operations. Order of operations just means when you have a math problem to solve with more than one operation, you have to work it in a certain order. There's an acronym to help us remember that order, and it's called PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. PEMDAS stands for parentheses, because that's what you're going to solve first. If you have parentheses in a problem, you'd solve them first. The next one is exponents. We don't deal with exponents in fifth grade very often. And then you would multiply or divide, whichever comes first. And the very last step would be adding and or subtracting, whichever one comes first between adding and subtracting. That's the order you need to solve a problem in when there's more than one operation. If this is our problem, the first thing we're going to look for is we're just going to go left to right and look for parentheses. We found a set of parentheses here, 10 minus 2, that's what we'll solve first, so that's 8. Everything else you just copy right down, bring the rest of the problem down. So now we have 5 plus 8 times 3. Our next step says we'd search for exponents, but there aren't any. So now we're going to multiply or divide whichever comes first from left to right. We only have multiplication in here, so we're going to multiply. 8 times 3 is 24. We'll write it down and then bring the rest of the problem down. And that's all the multiplication and division there is, so our next step says add or subtract, whichever comes first. There's only addition, so that's what we'll do. 5 plus 24 is 29. We can simplify this expression to 29. So 5 plus parentheses, 10 minus 2 parentheses times 3, is just a long, drawn-out way of saying 29. That's the value of this expression. Let's see if we can simplify this next expression in the right order. The first thing we're going to look for is parentheses. So there's one set, 6 minus 2, that's 4. So instead of calling it 6 minus 2, we're going to call it 4. We're going to make it simpler. And bring the rest of the problem straight down. 4 divided by 4 times 3. We should make the problem smaller and smaller and smaller until we get to one final value. The next step would be to look for exponents, but there aren't any. So then we would look for multiplication or division, whichever comes first. Division comes first in this one, so we're actually going to divide before we multiply. 4 divided by 4, 1. So that part's done. There's no more 4 divided by 4. It's 1. We bring the rest of the problem down, times 3. Once you get down to only one operation, that's the one you're going to do next. So 1 times 3 is 3. You should end up with this sort of upside down triangle where your expression starts out long and gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until you get to this single number value for your answer. You're going to simplify it from all of that down to one number. 4 divided by parenthesis 6 minus 2 parenthesis times 3. It's just a long drawn out way of saying 3. That long expression has a value of just 3. Let's look at another expression and use the same steps. First we're going to solve inside the parentheses. Oh look, inside this set of parentheses there's two things to do and we're going to have to still follow the same steps inside the parentheses that we will follow outside of the parentheses. Inside this set of parentheses we don't have exponents, we don't have multiplication or division, so we can skip those steps. We do have addition and subtraction and we're supposed to do them whichever comes first when it comes to addition and subtraction. So inside these parentheses subtraction comes first and that's where we'll start. 6 minus 2 is 4. Then we'll bring the rest of the problem straight down in the same order. We have 8 divided by 4 plus 4 in parentheses. So we still have something to do in parentheses and that's what we'll do. 4 plus 4 is 8. Bring the rest of the problem straight down, keeping it in the same order. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 
8 divided by parenthesis 6 minus 2 plus 4 parenthesis is a really long and drawn out way of saying 1. And isn't 1 a lot simpler? Okay, I'm going to leave these notes up here on the right hand side, but how about you? Press pause, get a piece of paper, and write this problem down and then simplify it. When you're done simplifying, hit play and check your work. Now that you're done simplifying, compare your work with mine. The first thing I did was I solved inside the parentheses, and that was 4. And then I brought the rest of the problem straight down, so 8 divided by 4 times 5. The next step is multiply or divide whichever comes first. They're the same step, multiplication and division. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, and I brought the rest of the problem straight down, just solving one step at a time. 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Oh, I hope you got that one. Now let's do the same thing with this one. Write down the problem. You can still have the notes on the right if you need them. Press pause while you simplify. When you're done, press play so you can compare your work with mine. Because we have got this. We just need to follow the steps. If you're here, you must be ready to check your work. Let's go. First, I solved in parentheses. So that's 4 again. 6 minus 2 is 4. Brought everything else down. So now 7 plus 4 times 7. I'm going to multiply or divide. 4 times 7 is 28. Bring everything else straight down. I don't add or subtract until my final step. Now I have 7 plus 28. 7 plus 28 is 35. I sure hope you got those. If not, it's okay. We'll keep practicing. I have another video called Take the First Step. It's also about order of operation. Give it a try and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.